Let's make color changing progress charts in Excel in less than four minutes. Like and save this for later if you don't have time right now. The percentage changes as you enter yes. So we need to first define those percentages. For our example, we're gonna say 80, 90, 100, and a max, but you can adjust these as needed. To save time, I'm going to copy and paste these over. You can merge and center these, align these, you can change the font, however you want it to look. Those are the menus that you go to. Then I'm also going to copy and paste our milestones and done. Feel free to enter actual milestones in here to test this out. So we need a series of if statements here. The first one is equals if the actual value is less than 80%, then we want to see the actual value. And if it's not, we want to leave it blank. That's the double quotes. Next, it's going to be an and statement. So if and actual is greater than or equal to 80%, or if it's less than 90%, then we want to see the actual. And if it's not, then we're going to leave it blank. That is our double quotes again. And then we need to close that and enter. This last one here, the 100% is going to be equals if actual is greater than or equal to 90%, then we want to see actual. And if it's not, double quotes again because we want it to be blank. Our max value is gonna prevent us from going over 100. So we use the max formula exactly as shown. Let's do a quick spot check here. And as you can see, as you're entering yes and the percentages is going up or down, it is working out great. So next, let's get into this formula. To get our percentage done, we need to do a count if all of our values is yes, that's in the double quotes, divided by a count A of all the possible cells. So it's counting all of the cells in our list. So when you divide that out, you get your percent done. Let's insert our donut chart now. So you go to insert the donut chart and let's remove title and let's remove the legend. We won't be needing that. Now you need to add your data. So let's get rid of that one that was already there and leave the top field blank. In the bottom field, you just need to select the four calculated fields and hit OK. So now it's got a donut chart here. It's looking good. We're double clicking on the blue because we want to change that to red. That's our 70% range values. Then let's change the smaller portion to gray. Make sure you click on the exact portion that you're looking to change color or else it'll do it on all. Now in our 80% range, we want it to be yellow. And again, you can change these and adjust these formulas as you'd like. And then for our last one in the 90% range and greater, we're going to change this dark gray to a green. So anything that's 90%, 100% is green. And we're doing this because let's say we have high expectations and we don't want to see green or yellow for anything that's less than around 80%. We want this project to be mostly done in order to change from a red. So let's turn this to a dark gray in the background and let's make it a little bit lighter. We'd like it to match the one on the left. And you can go through here and say no line for the borders and it just cleans it up a little bit. Now we're gonna resize it down. Honestly, I had some trouble resizing, so I'm gonna cut that out of this video. All right, we're back, looks good. Both are pretty much the same size. Now we're gonna do an insert text box because what we wanna do is get that middle percentage inside of our donut. So let's put it off to the side for right now so it's easier to see as we're typing. But we need to go up to the formula bar and we need to select equals and then our percentage. So this is actually linked to our percentage. We didn't actually type it in. So you can center this up, down, however you like. You're gonna most likely need to resize it, but make sure you account for needing that percent sign to show like at 100. So you need to make it an appropriate size. Now you can fill this background to be dark gray, just like the other was. Now it kind of matches the background nicely, except for that border. So let's right click here and format. We want to get rid of the border here so you don't see that white line. So let's hit no line and then close out of it again. And now let's right click again to format because we'd like this to be white. So you can see that you've got a text options here. It's got a solid fill, just click on white. This is looking great. Let's change this to project two actual. And you can repeat this as needed, but there's our dashboard.